We're out here today with the DJI Air 3S and we're going to test the uh, new free pano mode, one of the new features of the Air 3S. See, we go into our camera selection settings here. We go down to the um, pano settings, which are near the bottom here. And uh, you'll notice the top one is the new free pano setting that they just added, you know, for this drone. I don't know, I don't believe it's available any other DJI drones yet. Who knows in a future update. So you want to use the, the, the C1 button to set one of your uh, points. And you see the little diagram there. So you set a point, uh, you know, on, on your, uh, kind of on your screen here. And then, uh, you know, you'll go and select another point here. So, um, again, you can use the C1 or you can, like, tap the screen. I'm using the C1 button to do it here. So I'm going to kind of adjust the uh, position of the drone the way I kind of like it here you know what that uh, sun coming through here but I didn't want it quite so high so okay you can set for either JPEG or raw for output and original I'm gonna go with JPEG all around so uh, I think I like this. this is a starting position here so I hit the C2 by mistake there that's why the auxiliary light came on so now um, it's telling me how to do the selection here and you see how um, demonstrates that little thing okay so um and it's giving me other st stuff about adjusting the camera to the end position here too which we're getting ready to do here so uh let's go over here and find a position where we want it to end at here and we'll hit that uh c1 button again here there's a little it's a lot of you know good diagrams come up here to help you um you can figure all this out if you're new to um, the free panel panels just in general okay so now it's going to take four photos uh, it's going to take seven seconds to take them and it's telling me it's changing aircraft position so um, and here I'm going to I'm, I'm actually going to start another one here I didn't quite like the way that other one was set up so we're going to go a little bit higher here yeah, I kind of just canceled that for you know I didn't hit the cancel button. You just start over again by hitting the the C1. Just want to get a little bit different of a um, you know layout here of how I want the pan of the B. So uh, okay, we start position already set. So now we're going to go to our M position. We're a little bit too low that first time. Okay, so now we got an M position selected here, and uh, now it's going to take six photos this time. And see that little diagram on the screen there's that green line showing exactly what we're going to be capturing with this uh, this panel here. And uh, four of six, five of six, and six of six. See how it went back and forth, you know, several times to, to piece it all together here. And it looks like it's finished now because it's offering to do another one now. Let's go down here to the, uh, the the photo menu to see if we actually did capture the um, the free pano. Of course, this takes a few seconds here, um, you know, for downloads everything to the app here. And there you see the top one today. And you see that little icon indicating it was a pano in the bottom left hand corner of the um, thumbnail. So now again, loading here. Um, there there it is again. The today one, the little panel icon and we'll hit it and there's our free panel just like we um, designed it to look some beautiful clouds there at sunset so um, you know where you just shoot a regular panel you don't even if you aim at one but you don't quite know what you're going to get so um, yeah it's kind of interesting okay here is the actual um, I've thrown in the actual JPEG uh, from the computer there that this that was you know not not just a screen grab of the photo Okay, so let's um, let's go ahead and try a um, you know maybe another one here. Let's position a drone here a little bit and uh, try to capture another uh, free panel. Maybe a little bit different angle here. Maybe get out over the over the beach here. We were kind of over um, we were actually over the Lucy Grill before down here by Lucy Elephant, and she has her own you know summer grill which is closed now, but popular in the summers okay so here we're kind of right on the edge of the water here uh kind of don't have the buildings in the way as much as we did before so we go back to the free panel here 
and we're going to set our uh, you know start and end position again using the C1 button. So we got a beginning, and now we're going to have a maybe right here for the end. Okay, so we got both positions uh, set here, and this is going to do four photos and take seven seconds. And you see the green line again indicating exactly what's going to be captured in this panel, which is pretty cool. You know, uh, DJ is really getting good with these uh, graphics, uh, like the return home graphic and whatever. So. Um, let you know exactly what's going on. So there is the, that's actually the uh, pano, um, oh, no, it's not the screen grab, that was the actual photo that I got off the, uh, you know, off the memory card. So, okay. While we're in here in panos, let's try uh, some other panos here um, to compare how, uh, you know, they, they go against the new free panos here. So let's go back to pano here. Let's try a, uh, Let's see, we got spear. We don't want to do a spear here. Let's go with that wide angle panel. That's a pretty popular one here. So um, this time we don't we don't hit the C1 button. We don't line up. It just kind of, we aim it and it kind of does it all on its own here. So it's taking five or nine photos here. Very quickly, I may add. Uh, get you a little um, dizzy there spinning all around. But, uh, okay, nine and nine. All right, it's 73% done here. So here is, again, here's the one, the JPEG. Here's the JPEG off. That was off the computer there. That wasn't the screen grab. That was the, the you know, the full res off the computer. Okay, let's try one more panel uh, before we're done here. There's the Poplar 180 here. Get you a kind of wider one. So this is going to take 21 photos here. But it, don't worry, folks. It takes them very quickly here. So, uh, yeah, if you've never tried the panel mode out on the uh, DJI, drones here um you know i recommend giving a giving a shot here especially that new free panel mode which lets you you know, have more control over exactly what you're going to be capturing with these panel modes so uh, yeah i mean i like it. it it you know um you know they, they're slowly adding you know new new uh, kind of these features here like smart shots smart modes things like that so Look good to see them adding extra panels here. This 2121 is done here, and uh, it's still got at 76%. It it's now what it's doing is processing the photo, on, you know, on board on the uh, you know on the on the drone drone's own built computer. Okay, so there is actually the actual photo off my uh, SD card, the the good full full res photo. So pretty darn good, I'd say. So yeah. Um, that's about it today, folks. I uh, hope you enjoyed this, um, you know, pano tutorial. And if you liked it, give me a thumbs up. And um, also, subscribe to the channel if you're not already a member. And uh, don't forget to hit the, uh, uh, the bell icon so you'll know when I put up new videos. So thanks for watching today, folks. And we will see you in the next one.